Hello and welcome back. This is still Campus 360 Life. You're right here on Campus TV. And that was Issa Bernard or say with Active Sports segment. Now moving straight to the accountable policy segment. Today we're diving into the technical and vocational institutions we have in the country. And I'm joined here by Mr. Eric Nana Ajman. He is a communication director for Young Investor Network. Mr. Nanajman, good morning. Good and how morning, are you doing? I'm very well here yourself. I'm great. And we are very happy to have you. Yeah, used to be here too. Yes. So now, zooming straight to what we have, I would like to know what uh, the technical and vocational institutions are made up of. Um, good morning. And of course, let me say a very good morning also to your cherished viewers, sure. especially uh, the students here in our republic. Um, technical and vocational education actually uh, is anything outside the former one, the university, the SHS one we know, mm -hmm. and they actually get to do more with the practicals. Okay. You know, as a country, uh, consistently we, we have admitted that uh, our education comes across as, you know, one that is with very little or no practicals. And so the technical and vocational institutions are the ones, you know, taxed to deliver uh, practical education to our students. Okay, that is well said. And uh, would you say that that particular, you know, sector has been neglected? And if so, how? Of course, it has been neglected. And I told your uh, sister station a few days back mm -hmm. that considerably it has been neglected, you know, by all, you know, uh, angles you can look at it from if you take the government for example mm -hmm. you know just um, uh, when the Akufad government came into power yeah free SHS has been rolled out and mm -hmm. we, will, we will get into <laughs> that aspect but uh, how has this uh, institution been neglected by constant government coming in and out of the throne of ruling in this particular country Ghana yeah, clearly, clearly, um, not just this government, but also uh, previous governments have neglected yeah. them uh, to a larger extent. Um, even if you look at the number of technical and vocational institutions we have in this country, there are about 154, which are formally established and directly supervised by the Ministry of Education okay. and uh, Employment and Labor Relations. That is as very, 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 very as compared, small. <laughs> as compared to the number mm -hmm. of, you know, senior high schools we, we have, have in this country. Exactly. And my brother, even as you sit here, I can say you also personally have neglected. If I'm to ask you to mention, say, 10 technical and vocational institutions, I'm not sure you'll be able to. I but can't, but let's not delve into that yet. But if I'm to ask you for SHS, you can give me... A lot. Know, yeah, a lot. So, individually, we have also contributed to, 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 to this place, and I think um, it's high time we, we get to look at them again. Okay, so earlier you were talking about the senior high school being rolled out. Now, I want to know what this particular thing has caused the um, technical and vocational sector of institutions we have in the country. Um, just a few months back, I was at a conference being organized by the Africa Center for Economic Transformation on technical and educational, uh, technical and vocational, you know, education. And we even invited the minister, he didn't show up. Did he give any reasons yes. why? Yes, and of course, it even, even in the public domain, we've had the minister and uh, uh, the president, you know, uh, waxing lyrical about the number and kind of educational interventions they have made, especially the free SHS. But you know, that while, while it's a good thing, and we all commend that, I mean, le let's not be deceived. Anyone who says free SHS is not a good thing, it's, it's lying. It's a very good thing. But it has also become a major disincentive to technical and vocational institutions and education. Yeah. Because, my brother, as you sit here and you are done with the GHS, even if you have the passion to get into technical or vocational uh, institution for education are you sure your parent is going to allow that especially at a time mm -hmm. where free SHS is free. free and they would have to pay for your technical and vocational education so clearly whilst the free SHS is a good thing I think the government can uh, extend it yes, to, the, it technical to, to the technical and vocational institutions else uh, and already some are collapsing some are especially the private ones because you know that 
uh, already you were already handicapped yes. <laughs> because of the government yes. at once and now you have yes. free free HHS free HHS, it's it's worsening the situation and the private ones are collapsing because you know for them as it is said the business of a business is business mm -hmm. and so they are in purposely for 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 the money and now that uh, the numbers are going down definitely they are making a loss and uh, the the 154 down. could even go down go down go down hmm. and let me remind you if you just joined us this is uh, the accountable policy segment on campus 360 life and i'm joined here by mr eric nana Achiman. he is the communication director of young investor network and uh, let me remind you that you can join in the discussions the numbers are on your screen the first line that is the Tigo line is our WhatsApp platform only. If you want to phone in, phone in on the Vodafone line. So join in a discussion. We're discussing the future of Ghana's vocational and technical sector. So, Mr. Nanajimai, mm. what do you think government and individuals must do? Um, moving forward, I think that um, one thing we critically need to look at is even the admissions of technical and vocational institutions. You know, they are known for admitting academically weaker students. Yes. Uh -huh. Even yes. if you get 53, they will still take it. I think it's one thing we need to look at because that has yeah. fueled the perception that people have yes, about technical, technical and vocational is for dumb students. So moving forward, I think this is one thing we should look at. It should be pegged, you know, at the same level with uh, SHS, the mm -hmm. qualifications, I mean. And again, just as I indicated earlier, that the government should possibly extend the free SHS. free SHS to cover because they are all at the same level mm -hmm. they are all considered secondary education, education just as some are technical and some are uh, mainstream and again moving forward i know in 2006 um an act of parliament was passed i think act 718 mm -hmm. which established the council for te for technical, technical and vocational education, education. Yeah. that is covert but it is inadequately financed <laughs> and that has crippled them they are unable to perform their supervisory role they are uh, uh, and anything that you know they are mandated with and that has again you know contributed to the many informal and unregistered you know technical, technical and vocational yes all around you could just because go have, down and get a one room and you say you have you have established a, a technical, technical school. school and that has, has actually compromised the standards yeah. And so moving forward, I think the government should um, try as much as possible to, to re resurrect <laughs> the COVID. COVID to be able to perform its supervisory accreditation and the quality assurance roles. That is very true. That is very true. But would you say that the technical and vocational institutions do not also, you know, put themselves in a, in a position to... Uh, you know, entice people to really focus on them because we barely hear that they have done something, even though they are doing te um, technicalities. You know, but you barely hear that they have come up with um, an engineered something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like maybe they'll be out, the school will be out that we made this machine and this is how it works. We hardly hear that. But don't you think if they should also up their game and um, try to, you know, invent stuff, it will really draw the attention of the masses towards them. Or what do you say? Uh, that's true. That's true. But to invent stuff, I think I would, I would uh, disagree a bit uh, that because these are secondary guys we are talking about. But let's elevate the discussion even to the tertiary level. You'd realize that even our technical universities, we have converted them into mainstream to become the Legons, the KNUSTs, the yeah. UDS, the UCC. And very recently, we have the uh, Polytechnics being converted to universities. Yes. Yeah. So what are we trying to, and again, that, you know, comes to the somewhat hypocritical nature of we Ghanaians. You know, we consistently make admissions that technical education is the best way to go. But again, again, our actions betray that ways. <laughs> our actions betray that. Even our technical universities are being converted into mainstream universities. So clearly, we admit that is a good thing we need to pursue as a country not just to create jobs for the youth but also to develop the economy creating that vital link between academia and um, the world of work but again our actions our actions are betraying those words well so fast forward if everything that you have said is being put in place what is the future of the technical and vocational uh, sector but before you answer that let us go for a very quick 
breather we'll be back very shortly stay tuned GN Mobile Money Total Convenience In the future, every child, man, woman in every corner of the world will be connected. Hey. Anything that you want to know will be available at the snap of a finger. The future brings endless possibilities. But we must never forget who we are, Ghanaians. Now, who is excited about the future? Me! The future is here. Experience the all-new GN Electronics Smart TV. Experience international quality assembled right here in Ghana. For more information, contact 050-144-9465. GN Electronics. Good quality comes from home. On The Vibe, we talk about every hot topics on campuses and beyond, keeping you updated on latest happening, fashion trends, and entertainment gist, and we help you break it all down. Don't worry. Everything you need to know will be talked about here. Around here, if you're going to spill something, then spill it out. I'll be your boys thing say... You get issues. My mom be like some horror telling the bella. Let's see this on side though. That's a card there. Then I don't watch the girls all like TV. I just say for the my head. Hello, your Saturday morning just got bigger and better with the Sports Basilica. Do you want to know what's trending and making waves in the world of sports? Then, we bring you the most comprehensive in the sporting analysis and discussions from football, basketball, tennis to wrestling. Join me, Legitiman Moore, and my top-notch panelists as you drive me through this journey of sports. Catch this and many more on Campus TV, your favorite youth and student television channel.
Hello and welcome back from that quick breather. Yes, we we were all watching Campus 360 Live right here on Campus TV. And as I said earlier, we're discussing the future of Ghana's vocational and technical sector. And I had here with me, or I still have here with me in the studios, Mr. Eric Nana Adjaman. He is a communications director for Young Investor Network. And as I said earlier, uh, what we were discussing before we went out for the break or breather, the future of this particular sector when one everything that you've been mentioned of or suggested it being, is being put in place and secondly when it's not um obviously as i've said we need to stay true to our words you know we admit it's a good thing so um, let's get the right things done and the future will be bright if um everything being said is you know being put into practice it will become more attractive mm -hmm. you know it's an established fact that by the Ghana Education Service that just 7% of GHS leavers opt for uh, technical and vocational education. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Ethiopia, yeah, 80% wow. and 20% for the others. That is the mainstream wow. secondary school. But here in Ghana, it's just 7% because it's not attractive. And so when everything is being put in place, it will become more attractive and the numbers will increase. There will be more expansion, the schools, the 154, the 154 will increase to will go many up. More. <laughs> yes, will go up, and the uh, jobs will be created because these are people who, ordinarily, when they are out of school, they don't send CVs around. They yeah. are equipped to do their yeah, own stuff, to start their own something, and also employ people. So that will expand the economy, create jobs, and uh, certainly the future will be bright. But maybe just to end on this, I think as 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 Ghanaians, there's well, one. Since we have a caller on the line, so hold it for me there. Uh, if you can hear me, good morning. Where are you calling from? Oh, we lost it. Try again. The phones are on your screen. The phone lines are on your screen. Call the Buddha phone line and let's get interactive. So as you were saying, Mr. Ajman. Yes, I, I was saying that um, there's something we need to correct as Ghanaians. That is our mentality towards technical and vocational yes. education. You home my zero. These are mm -hmm. dumb students and yes. all that. I think and it's it, you know, it's funny when someone fails at a nation, the parents will be like, hmm, I'm not fail you. But then you young couple vocation be man in And it's it's sad. It's sad. These that are, mentality yes, needs to that change. Yes, that mentality we need to change it and uh, you know get it more attractive and um, I know the future will be bright for technical and vocation. But what if they don't pay heed to what you're saying? Obviously, we continue to wallow. The in, 154 um, is still yes, shrinkled. Yes, we continue to wallow in you know unemployment here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been books, 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 theory, 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 and we continue on that path. If you know all the advices, they already know. It's not that I'm here to advise them. They, they already, already know. know. They make such concessions, but their actions, as I've said, they continue to betray the words that they, 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 they speak. Well, we hope for the best for the technical and vocational sector of institutions in the country because we know that they contribute a very key role, you know, in developing a nation, any nation at all. As you made mention of, you can see a nation have eighty percent of its educational system being technical, and you can tell that they are way, way, way ahead in terms of the development ahead of Ghana. And that's something that we need to learn. And the mentality, the perception we have about technical and vocational institutions also need to change. So these are the words of Mr. Eric Nana Achiman. I said earlier that he is a communications director for Young Investor Network. And he joined me here today to have this discussion. There's more. Stay tuned. Do not go anywhere. But Mr. Ajman, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you so and much. And we will definitely speak to you more. And you'll be here shortly i feel that <laughs> can't wait please to be here thank you thank you so viewers that was mr eric adjeman and he is the communications director for york investor network joining me here on the accountable politics segment on campus 360 live the show is not over yet you can still tell tell us your discussions or your convictions about all these things a whatsapp line or also you can phone in because there is another discussion shortly after this but before that let me go for a quick breather when i come back Stephanie Kisi will join me here and kick start with the next discussion. Stay tuned.